One of the things that was interesting about dinosaurs is that they represent this very different time. And it's a time when organisms got to this enormous body size and took on these configurations that were very different. And in Montosaurus was a specimen that kind of allowed you to kind of take that in because it's so big and it looks very strange. As a visitor, you'd walk up to it and be kind of amazed by how big this dinosaur was. The Admonosaurus specimen that's been on exhibit in the museum for about 76 years comes from Montana. So in June and July of 1938, the specimen was removed in blocks by one of our faculty members and curators, Ermin Kaus Case, and shipped back about three tons worth of material to Ann Arbor. Even during the excavation, people were excited because at the time there wasn't anything like that on display. We're all sort of scientific preparators and we don't have a lot of experience removing things from display. We have a lot of experience putting things on display. So we had to learn on the fly in a sense. So it was mounted on its side and extracting it from that mount, which was done in the 1930s, uh, was a real challenge. It's almost not quite as difficult, but it's a similar challenge to removing the dinosaur from the rock in the first place. You kind of have to first figure out what the boundaries of your quarry are and then begin to sort of subdivide it into pieces that you can manage and then extract those one by one. We also had the students to work on doing conservation on the specimens as we remove them out of the ground. We then started doing very serious assessment about what kinds of damage uh, had occurred to the specimen over time. Paleontology is an empirical science and museum collections, they are collections of objects that we can use to try to answer questions. And so if we think about Edmontosaurus, that was collected 80-something years ago. There are questions that we can ask with that specimen that perhaps the person who collected it never even thought of. Even though uh, Edmontosaurus is not a rare dinosaur, questions can still be answered by having material like this original fossil. And all of those things are useful for us in studying the past. We, we want to know those associations because they help us to make predictions about life on our own planet now. So paleontology is not a dead science. People think of it that way maybe, but it is really a living science.